Rightio, so triple plated wiring. I'm gonna draw out a wee demonstration for you. If we move this rubbish. What you'd have is your light fitting here. You'd have a feed coming from the switchboard. So one cable comes into the light and then you'd have a cable going out of the light into the next light and you'd have another cable going out of that light into the next one and so on. Now you'd have a third cable to a light switch down here and then it would just be identical on the next light fittings. So in essence, most of the light fittings on this chain will have three cables going to them. And I'm going to show you exactly how these cables are wired and how they would be configured in your house. In triple plating in the past, you might find that you've got a white cable going down here and it might have red sleeving around some of the cores on it. That cable there will be the one going to the switch. So in the past, cables were wired into the back of light fittings and they had different coloured sleeving over the different cores. That distinguishes that this is the cable that goes down to the switch from your triple plated light. Instead of that white cable that I was just talking about, I'm going to run a yellow one down to the light switch, which is what you'd have to run these days to be compliant. So we'll have the light fitting there, the switch there. We have a cable from the switchboard. Now this here, will be wired the phase into the circuit breaker, the neutral into the neutral bar, and the earth into the earth bar. I'm going to replicate this by plugging it into a socket, which will do that job for me. So this cable is going to go straight into the light fitting itself. And then I'm going to have another cable that loops out. Is still the feed from the switchboard, but it loops out to the next light fitting in the chain. And then this cable here, this yellow one, is going to be the one that goes to the light switch itself. Now, the way you wire these, I'll start with the light switch. So we only need to use two cores. We'll be using red and white, and we'll put the blue one in the connector. Rightio, so at the light switch here, we are going to wire in the red into C. And this red will be connected up to the feed that goes to the switchboard, so the C is always fr from the switchboard and the number one behind the light switch is always the one going to your light fitting. The loop terminal, don't worry about that, you don't have to use it, it's just a connector, it's not part of the light switch. Number two, you only use that when you're doing two-way lighting. So we've wired that light switch in, Next part, we're going to wire this baton holder in. So, this end of the cable with the connectors in it, that there is the feed out to the next light fitting on the chain. Alrighty. So this here is the one going to the light switch. We'll strip the cables back. Now this blue core is not used. So I'm just going to put it in a connector. Now I've just got two ends there exposed. Let's strip back the other cables. So now we've got our two feed cables. All of these cores are going to get twisted in with the same colour. So the two reds, the two greens and the two blacks are going to get twisted together. So the earths and the neutrals are now twisted together. Now with the phase, what we're going to need is the same red core that goes to the C on the back of the switch will be twisted up with these red, other two red cores here. So we'll twist the three of them together. Now those red cores are your feeds. They're not going to be part of the light fitting. So what we'll do with those is you'll see the loop terminal on the back here, which is that one there. We will screw the reds into the loop. So now we've got three more terminals on the back of the baton holder. These two here for your switch wire and your neutral. So in this instance, the one coming out of the number one in the back of the light switch is our switch wire, and that is our white one. We'll put that into one of those terminals and screw it in there. So we've thrown that white into that one terminal there. Now we'll throw the black neutral cables into the one beside it. So as you can see, the black cables are in there. Now we'll put the green earths into there. So the earths went into the one with that green slot there. Now that's your wiring done for triple plating. Right, so I'll go and plug this into the wall to act 
as the feed from the switchboard. Now what you'll find is this cable here and here will be live. That's why I've put it in connectors because this is the same cable that carries on to the next light fitting so that this triple plating is repeated at the next light fitting. She's all plugged in. Now we'll turn her on and off. That's triple plating for you. Thanks for watching.